Dispenser going up. Well, I guess that'll do. Hello, it's Engie Brain, and uh, today we're gonna be talking about telepiters. The telepiter in TF2 is very good. Uh, I've talked about that a lot, I'm sure. But before we get into that, watch this. I'm psychic. Yep. I'm confirmed psychic. <laughs> uh, and uh, even he is baffled by my amazing ability to, to be psychic. I don't know. But couldn't see that one coming. He gets past, unfortunately. But fortunately for me, actually, I have the Eureka effect. So I can just go back to spawn whenever I want. And I know what he's I know what he's up to. You know, if a demo man on bad water uses the sticky jumper to go to that exact spot, you know where he's going. And I clutch save the teleporter. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. We're gonna be talking about teleporter maintenance. Maintaining, in my opinion, the most effective building in the game at winning rounds, matches of TF2. And of course, Spies, being the little devilish, sneaky little Frenchmen, they're always behind all the time. They're going to be targeting your teleporters all the time, so the Eureka effect is fantastic at just replacing this. I talked about this in the most recent uh, wrench review video, and I've probably talked about it in the uh, Eureka effect video as well, but being able to do this... Oh, did you see that? Did anyone else see that? Now, if you didn't see that, I definitely did, and that gave me a little hint to what's going on here. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pretend like I'm leaving. Yep. Oh, I definitely just teleported to my teleporter exit. Just kidding, I'm still at spawn, and I know what you're up to! I peeked the microphone there, but it doesn't matter. Get owned, spy. And he's even questioning how I knew. Well, <laughs> shutter doors don't just open by themselves, my friend. Alright, now, we're on to... Borneo. And it's another damn spy, man. These guys are relentless. But you know what? It makes sense. Like I've been saying, the teleporter is the most important winning building in the game, in my opinion. And uh, I don't know if that was a spy that did it. Uh, it was. I just checked the kill feed just now. I probably should have done that in the game. But anyway, I, uh, I don't have the Eureka effect in this clip, so I have to walk all the way back to spawn. Which, you know, it's still worth it. It's still worth having to walk all the way back to spawn, to be honest, because this thing does magic. It does wonders. Now, here's a little trick. I'm going to switch to the uh, to the Frontier Justice and the pistol because I got one kill on my sentry. And see what I did there? I picked up and replaced my teleporter engines. Now, why did I do that? Well, you'll notice that it's now 100 metal to upgrade. And I teleport using the Eureka effect because I assumed that Soldier that just spawned was going to use the uh, teleporter, but he doesn't. That's a little pet peeve of mine. <laughs> is people who clearly see the teleporter <laughs> entrance in front of them. Level 3, ready to go, no one waiting for it, and they ignore it. Now, I know, I've been, I've been told by a few people that the reason why they don't do this, the reason why they consciously ignore teleporters at spawn, is because they've been burned too many times in the past by a, a teleporter going somewhere weird or taking a teleporter and it goes to a troll spot. How often does that happen, though? I mean, most of the time, most of the time, it goes where it's supposed to go, right? I mean, you can't let one bad experience, one or two bad experiences define how you play the game. I mean, you got to put some faith in your engineers, man. you got to put some faith in the guys that are trying to help you out. I mean, think about how many times I've run in thinking, oh, my teammates are behind me, my teammates are going to back me up on this, and they... They abandon me. They bait me. Doesn't mean I don't do it anymore. It just means, you know, sometimes you get baited. Sometimes you get trolled. <laughs> but you gotta, you gotta put faith in the system. And the only reason this, uh, this doesn't really have a whole lot to do with, uh, I mean, my teleporter's got six people on it, but I just wanted you guys to see how clutch I am at uh, winning Badwater. <laughs> or Borneo, rather. Borneo, Badwater, it's all payload. Anyway, uh, we're on to another payload. This is Gold Rush. And off camera, I did a little building off camera, uh, but the uh, the pyro, as you can see in chat, says that he got my teleporter entrance and a few of us. So I'm gonna run all the way back to spawn. 
because I don't have the Eureka effect. And I'm going to replace the teleporter entrance. And my stuff is taking damage, so I'm actually going to switch to the tele or the uh, Eureka effect and teleport to my exit, which you can do. Uh, just a reminder, you can teleport to your exit even if it is inactive. Even if it is being sapped, by the way. Um, as long as it is up, you can teleport to it with the Eureka effect. And as you can see, uh, my teleporter it got upgraded very quickly there because of a very good Samaritan uh, on the other side upgrading it along with me. Now... I just want to give a shout out to the Uncle Dane viewer community because I've been doing this for a long time now. It's, I'm approaching, <laughs> I want to say, a decade of making these videos at this point. Uh, and that is one thing that I can definitely say is something that I've noticed as a result, as a direct result of the videos that I've been putting out. Is people do this. Look at this guy. He switches to engineer. He upgrades the teleporter. Man, that is team. That is teamwork in Team Fortress 2, if you've ever seen one. And uh, while I was talking about all that, you can see uh, that Pyro went to spawn again, and he destroyed the teleporter entrance because uh, he knows. He knows that it's it's important. He knows that it's it's given us, given our team life, given our team uh, the ability to pressure them so much. So I'm gonna stay on the Eureka effect because I have a feeling he's gonna be keep, he's gonna keep doing that. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna try and be a little bit more aggressive with my sentry gun while I'm waiting for that pyro to flank back around and uh, and try and kill the teleporter. Uh, wait, kind of wait, waiting patiently for my team to, to walk through this window so that I can follow them. All right, all right. You guys have they're taking a little bit more ground here. Uh, they're communicating in chat, which is helpful, helping, I'm sure, their uh, their coordination a lot as well. Now, I'm trying to debate. Yep, I'm going to be uh, rescue rangering this down here. And uh, you know what? It gets taken out immediately. The people are, are waiting. Now, the rescue ranger doing 122 damage to this pyro here. That's pretty impressive. But right here, this is where I... I wish that I wasn't on the Eureka effect, but I'm still glad that I have the option to go back to spawn because, you know, that, that pyro could be uh, back there waiting to destroy it, but we're actually holding down uh, the main uh, way that he's going through. And here you can see, man, I am like, I think literally one metal off, one or two metal off from, from upgrading that because of the uh, less metal gained from the Eureka effect there. So, <laughs> but luckily I can just go back to, uh, I can just go back to spawn and grab some. Um, but yeah. Now, uh, now that the the uh, choke is kind of being held down, uh, unfortunately my stuff goes down. But now that the choke's being held down, I I figure I don't actually need to be on the Eureka effect anymore. I can be on the uh, the Jag here because we're we're a little bit more aggressive. We're holding choke, and uh, I don't think that Pyro's gonna be able to get behind as much anymore. So I'm just gonna go Jag because uh, I need to be aggro right now. I need to be crits cast aggro. Um, so yeah, here we go. So um, yup, let's get in there. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna do the, kind of the same maneuver that I was trying to do before, where I'm just gonna wait patiently for my team to uh, to clear the way. Now I see this guy's gonna get spammed out here, and uh, I'm just gonna wait like a few seconds. Wait for the. Uh, it to clear out. Now this soldier took my ammo pack, so I I I'm gonna switch to the rescue ranger here because I'm I'm short on metal, but it comes back we're just in time. Fortunate. Now this is like clearing out this track area, making it easier for my team to get through. And uh, man, I'm just I just ran out of metal, but this scout he runs by and accidentally picks up the ammo, so I have to go to this side to pick it up, but it's too late. My sentry gun goes down. Man. Sometimes teammates, <laughs> they do you dirty, but, you know, it doesn't matter. We still win, and, uh, yeah. yippee ya hie hi kayo is what I say to that. All right, so uh, last clip or series of clips is going to be on Pier, the newish map. And you can tell that I was, at the time, collecting clips for the, uh, <laughs> for the pistol. Um... But there's an issue that we're going to be running into, and that is that this particular area 
is just riddled with enemies. And normally I would put my teleporter right here so that they can filter through this choke and this uh, kind of side passage that's kind of like also choke but also kind of also a flank. But there's a sniper standing there. And weirdly enough, there's a sentry gun up in that little rafter spot, which you don't see a whole lot of people building up there. Um, mostly because it's not <laughs> generally not very effective because it's very easy to spam out. But I'm going to take this dispenser the long way because I don't want to get killed by the sentry gun one and killed by the uh, sniper who is standing in that choke also protected by the sentry gun. Um, but I'm going to try at least to to <laughs> help my own teammate uh, teammates here. This medic tries to get out. He gets caught out, and I was able to pistol him down, luckily. You know, the power of the pistol. Pistol power. But it's unfortunate because, man, this sentry gun is still here. I'm waiting for someone, one of my soldiers, or some. yeah, here, so here's a guy with an airstrike <laughs> shooting it without jumping. Uh, I'm trying to chip in with my pistol a little bit, but the sniper gets me from, from, uh, from choke, and, and this is actually where I decide, you know what, I don't think my team is going to be able to deal with this. I, it's like the perfect combination, a sentry gun in a weird spot that can't be destroyed, uh, protecting a sniper who's just doming people left and right. So uh, this is one of the flank areas. You can actually drop down through here. Not a whole lot of people go this way, unless you're like a scout, as you can see. Scout's going through here. Um, but I'm going to put the teleporter over here because... Uh, this is like a good lesson, I suppose, in how you can influence your team by placing teleporters. Like, you don't even have... You can be an influencer. <laughs> you can be a YouTube influencer by just putting your your teleporter exit in a place where you think uh, would be the most effective for your team to walk through. And in this case... I don't think it's very effective to walk through that choke because for some reason they cannot kill that sentry gun. And they keep getting killed by the sniper who's being protected by said sentry gun. It's a very effective strategy that Red is, uh, is, is employing. But I think that you can counter it as NG. Now you'll see, man, I am so lucky that I have teammates. I have good Samaritans on my team. My uh, teleporter uh, was getting sapped, and I had no way of unsapping it because it's just out of my reach. But yet, somebody at spawn switched to engineer and and uh, removed the sapper and saved the teleporter. So we can just keep on rifling through here. We can keep on going through this uh, flank area. Flank is choke. Choke is flank. We're switching up the meta. <laughs> and this is the power of the teleporter in, in, in a different way. I mean, you can see... We're already pushing the cart. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> the spy actually does get the teleporter. But you know what? We're in. We're uh, we're in. It's it, it might be too late. We might have this in the bag because we're just we're in, and they don't have anything to do about it. I mean, like <laughs> they do have this heavy who is relentless, and this laggy medic with 165 ping, 185 ping. Don't worry, I checked. Uh, that's why I have a that's why I have a lag limit or I have a, a ping limit on Uncle Topia. By the way, it's very frustrating to fight those players. But I decide, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. Hail Mary, uh, go for the cap, and I take a seat, literally, on the ground here. But it's okay because I actually need to go back to spawn to replace my teleporter, and I'm not giving up. I am not giving up on this theory. This theory that choke is flank and flank is choke. Uh, I think you know we've got three minutes left. We've got time, so uh, I'm just gonna keep this teleporter in this exact same spot i think that i think we're gonna we're gonna keep it up now <laughs> you can see uh i've already kind of influenced people to go this way manually just because they've seen oh this is kind of like this makes a whole, whole lot of sense actually to go this way because that sentry gun is uh is kind of uh impossible to kill for some reason but you'll see i mean if you watch this demo man he <laughs> he still walks over there and I checked to see if it's there, but I'm not going to fight it. He's <laughs> People have a vendetta against the sentry gun. They they want to get revenge on the sentry gun, even though it, there's no reason to go over there. There's no reason to fight that sentry at all. It, it's, it's, uh, it's not protecting anything that is important right now. We can actually go through this... This exact place that we're in right now, and push the cart, and it would it, it would work. We don't have to interact with that sentry gun, but there's still people over there. You can see uh, trying to kill it, and uh, 
That's a bit of a beef central right there from both of us, but he takes out his melee and, and random crits me. I'm not I'm not gonna fall for that though. My my melee weapon can't random crit, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play that game. Alright. <laughs> um but we're still here. We're still, you know, uh, I want to mention something, by the way. My, my teleporter is level 2 at the moment, uh, which I think is, is uh, just as good, if not, uh, yeah, just as good as a, uh, a level 3. Uh, because the difference between level 2 and level 3 is, is 2 seconds. But, and <laughs> that's, that heavy was <laughs> on his way to go try and kill the, tele the, the sentry gun up there. Uh, and we gets body blocked by the spy and confuses the hell of him. But you know what? We win. And uh, if I don't say so myself, I think that we we were the catalyst in that situation. I think that it would have been five more minutes of getting killed by that sniper, getting killed by that sentry gun, protecting the sniper. That would have been the rest of the game if my teleporter would have been in its normal spot. Teleporter would have probably gotten down a lot more as well. But yeah, uh, that's the power of the teleporter, both maintaining and influencing. Uh, I hope that you learned a little bit more about teleporter maintenance from this video, and uh, thanks for watching. And I will talk to you nieces and nephews next time. Bye-bye.